Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to a little bit more War Thunder. Now, it's been a few weeks since I've played this, and with the introduction of a few new vehicles, and, you know, the ones that are a little bit more crazy, such as this German armoured car, you can really get yourself into some rather fun situations. Like this T-34 here, he doesn't know we're going to launch a little bit of a surprise trap on him. The first shot goes straight into him, taking out his loader and his gunner. And then what we're going to try to do here is take out his tracks, but his tracks don't work. So now he's a disabled tank, but at the same time, he's going to be getting cruised back to his weapon. So we need to be fast here. I tried to go for an engine shot, but he deflects it. Now his loader is loading the turret. So we need to be really careful to keep out the way of that barrel at all costs. He's quite a fast tank, but for some reason he's gone into reverse mode. That's really hampering his performance. And we've got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle here. His machine gun is chasing us. You can see the impact's just behind us. We've only got two crew members, so if one of them is taken out, it's game over here. Now, since he's fired his little burst of machine gun ammunition, he can't engage us again. We just need to get behind him and stick one in his turret. He's only got two crew members remaining, so a quick shot will finish him off. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Line up a second shot into the crew quarter, and he's out of there. There's something about using this German armoured car that is extremely satisfying. I don't know because it's got a tiny weapon and you're very easy to destroy, but you feel like you're almost a hunter. You're constantly sniffing out trails of other tanks and you've got to be patient. You've got to wait for tanks of opportunity. In this situation, I've just sniffed myself out the trail of a T-34 who's been cruising through this area. I can also hear to my right a Bofors cannon in that sort of wood yard. I need to stay on the trail of the T-34. There he is. We've caught a rare sighting of him. Just need to get up behind him and thread one through his gunner position so we can do a little bit more damage. There we go. One right into the gunner position. Keeping him vulnerable and stopping us from engaging us. But I'm going to break back and take out this Bofors cannon who's in the wood yard because he's a little bit of an easier target. He's being engaged by a friendly, but he's just a bit too low to actually hit him. So we'll thread one through his gunning position. And then the second one needs to go through the driver position. And there he is. He's out. A very easy kill for this weapon. Since it's a 20mm cannon, it's got a very high velocity that allows you to penetrate a lot of tanks. Not directly at the front, but if you do get behind them and you get yourself in a very smart position, you have to thread the shots one by one into members of the crew. So as we moved up into this section here, I'm just patrolling through the trees, lurking in every bush. There's a German armoured calf. <laughs> oh, God. This is not going to go too well at all. One machine gun round could eliminate me out of the game. And this guy decides to sit so far bloody up in the turret that he's sticking his little moustache out there and he's dying to get shot. So there's nothing over in that section. And then I spot a M36 Jackson crossing the open over here. So there he is, just out the corner of my screen. And we're just going to thread one straight through his side. His armor's quite thin. The 20mm shouldn't have any challenge going through it, but we need to take out his gunner first. So we're looking for that vulnerable shot. He's fired his shot. There we go, straight into the gunner's quarters, taking him out. And now we need to start working our way through his other crew members. So that's two crew members down. And he's got a total of four or five. So there's the other one into the turret, taking out the main breach, as well as the other loader on the other side. Just how cheeky is this little cannon? So moving up a little bit further, we push into the city. We've got a little French tank down here. And there's weak spots in his turret. So we put one into the loader, I believe. And then we're going to put one into the gunner, taking him out of play. You really have to be cold and calculated with this little vehicle. Really understand what tanks you're going up against and how you can get them out of play very quickly. And you need to prioritise in getting rid of the gunners because as soon as they open up, even with the machine gun, you're out of there. Little British tank, not too much of a threat, taking out the gunner again. And threading the second one into his loader. Since he's only got three crew members, he's out of there very quickly. Now, my armoured car senses are tingling. I can smell a Russian tank. It's not any Russian tank. It's a very fast Russian tank. It's one of them BT-7s or BT-5s. Now, I don't like them, guys. They've got that machine gun. They've got the turret. That's a very fast-firing, quite dangerous cannon. There he is. Got a nice, vulnerable shot on the side of him. Tried to put the first one into his turret, but we only hit his loader. So we need to put another one in very quickly. And since that 20mm cannon loads so fast, we can get away with cheeky shots like that. Now we just need to have a look around the perimeter. We're scanning for tanks of opportunity. And since we're lurking up in these bushes at an angle that players won't expect, I'm sure we'll find another target just below. There we go. British tank running. We'll put one through his engine base so he can't get around that corner. Now he's stuck there smoking. 
Now I'm going to try to put one into his fuel tank. But you can see how small the projectile is up on the camera on the right. It's very hard to do any sort of damage unless you start going for them crew members. I go for the fuel tank, not enough to ignite it. And I go for another lower shot and the, disc, the sort of drive shaft and nothing is going on at all. We've not got any penetration. We've just got some basic damage going on. So I decided to leave him and scan for some tights of opportunity. I'm going to get one more cheeky shot off on it if I can. But I decide, nah, leave him to our teammates. There we go. Nice French tank, quickly eliminated. And there we have it. A beautiful little German armoured car. Hopefully you enjoyed that. A little bit of a cup of water from us, a little bit different.